You are driving down the road in your ambulance with a very complicated patient and you look at the monitor and you notice the blood pressure is going down, down, down along with the heart rate. What are you going to do? Now is a good time for push dose epi, but there's going to be some math involved, so it's a good thing you took the time to practice. The great thing about push dose epi is how quickly it starts to work. The onset is about one minute, and the duration, or how long it lasts, is about five to ten minutes. That's not particularly long, but it's long enough for you to be able to take the time to mix up whatever long-term solution you're going to use. Right now, this is all about speed, which means the math is going to have to be fast, too. We have a dose of five to ten mics, and micrograms is the unit of measurement for the dose, so that's where our math is going to have to take us. The concentration of that cardiac epi is one milligram in 10 milliliters, but we got to somehow get from milligrams to micrograms. We know that there are a thousand micrograms in one milligram, so that concentration of one milligram in 10 milliliters is the same thing as saying a thousand micrograms in 10 milliliters. So let's get rid of this stuff and just deal with micrograms. So the concentration of that whole box of epi, 1,000 micrograms in 10 milliliters. But concentrations are usually expressed in units per 1 milliliter. So we're going to do some math and we're going to divide 1,000 by 10. And we wind up with a concentration of 100 mics per milliliter. But we are trying to get to 5 to 10 mics, and 100 is still a lot. So we're going to dilute this one more time. And we'll do that using this setup, a 10cc syringe with a three-way stopcock. And we'll take 9 milliliters of normal saline, and we'll add 1 milliliter of this concentration of epinephrine, 100 mics per milliliter, so 1 milliliter of that. And the 9 plus 1 gives you 10 milliliters of total solution. So the concentration is that 100 mics in 10 milliliters, or 100 mics in 10 milliliters. And if we divide the 100 mics by 10 milliliters, we get a final concentration of 10 mics per milliliter. And that is a number that works for us because we're trying to give a dose of 5 to 10 mics. So in order to give that 10 mic dose, you give one milliliter of that diluted epinephrine. You want to give half of that in order for a five mic dose, you cut it in half and give one half milliliter out of that syringe. And that 10 cc syringe has enough doses to get you pretty far on down the road. And that is a quick solution to a scary problem. I thank you for watching this video, and I hope you keep practicing that math to keep your skills up. See you next time.